Hi guys, welcome back. So today I'm not gonna do a tarot reading uh, like I have been doing before all of I get, uh, all of my videos. Uh, I just kind of felt like it wasn't really necessary for the energy and I just really wanted to get into this video and just go ahead and just dive right in and talk about the... Well firstly, let's go ahead and explain the meaning of purging because it can be an intimidating term, especially after watching the purge movies. <laughs> and some of the, you know, craziness going on in the world. Obviously, we're going through a very big transition, and I personally don't know where we're headed, and I know you don't know where we're headed, so I'm just going to break this down into an individual perspective, so we're just going to make this a lot smaller and easier to understand, firstly, and just kind of talk about the process of purging first, which is definitely in relation to your spiritual journey, your spiritual self. Um, definitely sh a lot of shadow work involved. Uh, so recognizing your shadow, acknowledging your shadow, being friends with your shadow, and that sort of thing. That's, that's what we're going to talk about today. And just going to relieve some of the, the guilt, the shame... And even mostly the stress involved with, you know, identifying your shadow aspects and trying to, you know, uphold to your truth and moral standards. Because, you know, let's be real, let's be raw. We all have this this moral uh, support, superiority that we hold. Um, regardless of what character we, we truly are, we're... We're constantly judging other people, whether it be subconsciously or consciously, you have tendencies to, you know, look at what somebody else is doing and, you know, maybe you have some experience in what they're doing and they did something wrong or they, you know, there's an easier way to do something and, you know, even though that word judgment, uh, you know, in relation to spirituality or, you know, the Bible or any Bible... It can be, you know, a strong term um, when we look at it, but really it's not. It's it's a very simple term because it's it's natural. Let's be real. It's a very natural occurrence in humanity. And most of the things that we care, carry in our shadow self are, you know, a product of evolution. They're a product of environment because we are what we consume. So I just want to talk about, I guess, you know the smaller aspects of purging and why exactly it's a continuous process not to discourage you of course from you know doing the purging and you know self-acknowledgement but definitely to relieve a lot of the stress involved and you know the i guess the uh, the karmic cycles let's, let's really dive into karmic cycles because that can be a very very discouraging process when you are trying to purge and and even just self-identify your shadow aspects like a lot of that can you know add stress like am i doing enough <laughs> is is this effort worth anything and you know the stress involved with taking away some of your your shadow uh, traits or not shadow traits but the things that you do to feed your shadow like such as like smoking cigarettes um eating chocolate which is definitely one of my vices and you know these simple things really and you know let's let's understand this too a lot of this everything can be perception based so you know, one person's vice is another person's sanctuary. So, you know, just take that into into account as well. But, you know, let's be real. Let's be self-countable and understand and respect karmic, uh, karmic balance for sure. Because, you know, what we do to ourselves reflects in other people. It projects onto other people and, you know, other people... They collect these traits. They carry these traits. I mean, let's look at our youth. You know, the the youth, um, our generation of youth that we have right now. I'm not really quite sure what generation they are. I believe Gen Z, but I, I'm probably definitely wrong about that. I'm not really great with that sort of thing. But my point is, is they were, you know, brought up into a social media, social media type of world where everything is online everything is media based uh capitalism has has hit this 
not necessarily a wall, but we, we're getting to a point where we really have started to acknowledge some of the damages that we've done to the environment and, you know, to our daily lives by just accepting capitalism for what it is. And especially when we, uh, you know, this isn't, you know, this isn't against capitalism. That's not what I'm trying to say. So, you know, don't get offended by this. But, uh, you know, there's definitely a lot of... Uh, ego-driven characteristics characteristics when we talk about capitalism and you know that can you know that itself can really take a toll and um unawareness of our own traits and what they actually you know project on other on other people and and you know the long-term effects of these these sorts of things like such as not you know eating fast food all the time like that's a shadow aspect because you know a lot of us are pretty conscious that it's not good for us and you know this isn't i'm not trying to you know i, I want you to know too like i'm not going to encourage you to you know throw your fast food away because i know what we have our reasonings for eating fast food like when we're at a nine to five and we don't have time to make food or make lunch for ourselves and we want something quick and easy it's it's really it's a thing of balance and judgment and just trying to understand or just not even just understand but just you know get through your day because let's we want to get through our day and you know some of us don't have time uh to just you know jump in and and do all of this purging and get rid of all of these shadow aspects whether we're conscious or unconscious about them it's not a simple task it really isn't. And, uh, you know, I want to emphasize that. So, you know, you're not refraining from, you know, acknowledging these, these traits about yourself and you're not, you know, discouraged by the journey because, you know, it can be, it can be a very long one and it can be, you know, self-destructive in its own ways because you're getting rid of some of your serotonin triggers. Uh, you know, I'm not a psych uh, psychology expert, but I do acknowledge and I, I have read uh, quite a few studies on, you know, serotonin um, in relation to addictions, whether that be like simple addictions, you know, not necessarily drug addictions or alcohol addictions, um, you know, sexual addictions, uh, relationship addictions, shopping addictions, and, you know, all the other addictions that we have you know a lot of them can be cycle related uh whether that be your everyday cycle a cycle that you received from you know your family uh your family is known to drink black coffee and you know not not shooting coffee because i love coffee myself but we all have these things that we want to work on and that's the most important part of purging now, so, like, don't get intimidated by that word, purge, because there's, you know, there's this this softer element to purging um, that we need to acknowledge as well. Other purging means that we're abruptly disturbing our daily habits and just diving into everything, or we're purifying and cleansing and taking the steps to purge. Like, you know, don't look at that word and be like, oh, I gotta get this done like be soft with yourself not too soft because we do need accountability so but you know give yourself the time that you need to heal because it is a process and you have things going on in your life you have people looking at you um you know looking up to you uh, whether you're taking care of your children you're married um, you're in a relationship or you just got to go to work every day and, you know, there's not always time to just do those things. But, you know, with 2020, uh, you know, from a collective perspective, um, you know, politics aside, there's definitely some abruptions in the collective that we are experiencing. And, you know, whether you're left, you're right, this isn't a political video, like, there's clearly things happening in the background. There are things changing in the background. And it is very important to acknowledge that as well, because that is an emphasis of growth. 
And if the collective can do it with all of these barriers and walls around us, such as like military, the president, and all of these, you know, uh, political structures or just laws, I guess it's the same thing. All these things that we have that may prevent us from being involved in our communities, in our livelihoods, in our jobs, our nine to fives. A lot of people are quitting because they're underpaid and abused by society. Like, I don't know how many videos you've seen of people just getting drinks thrown at them for no reason at all and working like $10 an hour at some gas station. Like, nobody wants that. So, obviously, there's things changing in the collective that we're experiencing and there's things individually that we're experiencing. Whether you are a spiritual person or not, you can acknowledge these these changes and you can go with the flow, you can ride with the wave, or you can take your own journey. You know, either one is definitely acceptable. Just know that, you know, do reflecting on yourself and understand yourself and what you need and desire. Don't just follow somebody else's path and and un and believe that that's going to, you know, drop some type of magical abundance or not even just that. Like, don't give yourself these... Hmm, I'm trying to think of the best way to say this without hurting anybody's feelings. Isn't that, it's a strange time to be alive where we worry so much about hurting other people's feelings, but I guess I should say just imaginary details. Like, don't have these high expectations for other people or for yourself by following some type of spiritual path or spiritual journey because, first of all, no one is the same. No perspective is the same. And though you may share a lot of, you know, similar perspectives with other people that are on the same path as you, there may be details, fine details that they do not tell you that you are not aware of that do not follow your path or do not flow with the energy involved in your life. Some people are religious, meaning uh, not necessarily, in, you know, they read Bible verses, um, you know, religious has its own, you know, meaning of, you know, I guess, <sighs> I don't even want to say, hmm, see, this is it. I'm, I'm worrying again about hurting somebody's feelings. I'm not trying to do that. I, I'm, I hope that you understand where I'm coming from when I say religious. Uh, some people just have these, you know, these daily habits uh, that they they stick by and they stand by, and you know that doesn't that doesn't dis uh, disvalue what they experience or their perspectives or how they live their lives. It's just different from yours. Um, religious meaning that you know that's what they do. That's what religion really means. Um, it's not really, you know, just, you know, are you a Christian or whatever. Uh, let me just type this definition in really quick so I get it completely right and I don't misinform you. Uh, you know, ooh, ooh. Oh, I didn't like that. But I just want to... Belonging, oh, nope. Treating or regarding with a devotion. Okay, that's a bit, much, much better. Devotion. Like, some people are not devoted to their lives like other people are. We'll just have to accept that for what it is. Because that does not have anything to do with characteristics. It does not have anything to do with individuality. It is just the way somebody lives their life. And that is the purest and most simplest, cleanest definition of religious. So, with that in mind, just understand that, you know, again, one, two, like, no two journeys are the same. Uh, even though they may be very similar. So just choose your own path and, you know, empower yourself to live a life that you want. Whether you want to be an artist, whether you want to be, you know, I, I guess just anything, really. Like, whatever your path is, just make sure it's yours. So, with that in mind, take on your, I guess, self-evaluations in private uh just because of outside judgment and the day uh in in today's world it's uh you know it's difficult to seek outside validation 
uh, whether you view that as toxic or not, you know, it, it's hard to seek outside validation. What I mean by that is it's, it's hard to get other people to accept you for the way you are. Um, and it's not necessarily their job or duty or right to either. So that's something that we have to take into consideration and understand. Like, you are not entitled to be accepted by other people. So just, I guess I'm going to hurt somebody's feelings anyway. Just, just consider those facts. Um, because, you know, people are going to say you're wrong. People are going to tell you that you're wrong and people are going to belittle you. And, you know, that's part of the purging. That's part of the self-empowerment. That's, that's part of your journey. Really, it is. Uh, you know, I know that from, from self-experience, you know, I've, uh, you know, I've stuck through my journey and I've stuck to my views and my perspectives and my beliefs strongly and abruptly and religiously. So, you know, though I don't follow a religion, I am religious in my perspectives and my views and that is par part of my ego-driven um, self-empowerment. So, you know, understand these things in your own terms, but also be open-minded about things. I know that's hard to do, hard to understand perhaps, but you know, we, we have to understand that though we want to be ourself and we want to have this, you know, individual journey or collective journey, whether you want to follow other people or you just want to do your own thing, it's, it's not an easy path. It really isn't. And that's why I'm going to tell you and warn you that it is an ever-growing or ever-going process to purge and to uh, acknowledge yourself. I mean, uh, you can be this, this, I guess, Buddhist or monk or, you know, something up in the mountains and you're constantly minding your own business. And, you know, that's definitely you know, possible. So there is, you know, that sort of view and perspective on, you know, the idealistic person or not, but let's also be raw and real. Like that isn't, it isn't, it isn't obtainable for everybody. It's, it's not what everyone wants. It's, you know, nobody wants to be this self-righteous person anyway. It's not about being self-righteous. It's not being, uh, about being correct. It's not being about, it, it's not even really about being a better person or a bigger person or whatever. I mean, it is in its ways, uh, in its terms, but it's not the ultimate goal. The ultimate goal is not to be perfect. It is to be self-accountable and to live your own life through empowering yourself and, you know, leading others by example, that's not necessarily the, the meaning or path of purging, but it's just one of those things that comes along with it. So, you know, acknowledge that you have this impact on other people too. So, you know, maybe that will not necessarily make you worry, hopefully, about what you're doing and how you're doing it, but it will give you this, you know, uh, view over yourself and what you're doing and how you're doing it so you can become stronger and much more empowered and much more prepared for what you want to continue doing. So with all of that in mind, let's let's get into a deeper um, spiritual definition of purging. I know I already said the definition of purging, but I want to, I just want to elaborate a little bit on what exactly that means in, you know, a spiritual sense and also a, I guess an overall sense in what we're trying to purge out because it's not even just about spirituality. It's not about being much more connected with collective consciousness or, you know, journaling every day and and, you know, eating those salads every morning, you know, it's not, it's not even just about that. It's about so much more. It's about, you know, uh, it's about leading by example. Personally, that's my personal expect, uh, perspective is it's definitely about leading by example, because we want to be there for our children. We want to heal the parts of us that we developed from our parents and from their parents and their parents and their parents. So there's a lot of generations involved and, you know, uh, we're in a technology craze or technology uh, world. So, you know, I think 
My dogs are freaking out, sorry. Uh, so it's really... You have to understand that there's a lot of things involved. Like I said at the beginning of the video, like... Some of these treats, or most, or all of these treats, are product of environment. They're, they're product of evolution. And so they're just kind of things that are handed to us. And we just kind of pick it up like it's a piece of candy. And we consume it. And then we're like, oh yeah, that tea is pretty good. Uh, it feels good. I'm going to do that again. And, you know, it just becomes a cycle. This, this cycle, this karmic cycle that you just kind of get stuck in. And, you know, whether you want to be eating better, whether you want to be sleeping better, or just making more money, all of these things have purging involved and shadow aspects involved. I guess this video is kind of really about shadow and purging uh, because they go hand in hand. Um, purging might, might f it, that word might make you feel like you're, we're trying to get rid of our shadow completely, but that's not, that is not what you should, and that's not what I encourage you to do, because our shadow is a very important trait. It protects us, it keeps us, you know, in, uh, in our defense when we do have, uh, when we are right from our perspectives or abused or just in a simple situation. Like, you know, there's times when you're completely right and the other person's completely wrong. That does happen and, and vice versa. You can be completely wrong and the other person completely right. These things happen. And it's important to value that and understand it and acknowledge that, you know, just because you're wanting to purge doesn't mean you're going to get rid of your shadow completely and be this shiny leading example for society. That's not what we're trying to do. That is not the goal. Uh, the goal is whatever you want it to be, really. Uh, you know, so if you're purging out your body and you want to eat better things, there's that. There's purging your lifestyle, purging your friends, because we all have those toxic friends, um, whether we love them or not. Uh, you know, so there's, there's lots of things involved and it, it can really be whatever path you really want to take it on. So understand that this this video isn't talking about the ooh scary great apocalypse because that has a deeper meaning too but i've talked about that before uh so you know just just consider the word to not be as uh, i guess meticulous as it sounds it doesn't have to be a God-fearing or God-worshipping type of process at all, but it can be. So, you know, take an open, again, an open mind and perspective when taking this path. My camera around because I was still was staring at the other side and the camera is over here and I really want to give you guys eye contact. Anyway, so, you know, again, this journey is what you make it. So don't get overwhelmed, don't get intimidated by that word, and don't get intimidated by the journey. Make it your own. Make it a process, a simple process for you that you know will work out. Because I am looking at the other side of this camera. Uh, you know, so just make it, make it obtainable for you. Make it your own journey. Allow yourself to have, you know, your vices, respect your shadow, and... And, you know, go with the flow, go with the journey so it's not something that's stressing you out because we're not healing to be stressed out, we're healing to heal. We're healing to have, you know, much more enjoyable lives. We're healing because we want to be healthier um, mentally, physically, and in our stable life, or in, in stable lives, we want, it to make, we want to make it more stable. So that's, that's really the ultimate goal, so don't don't unstabilize yourself by trying to purge and trying to work on your shadow. Like, you know, make it not necessarily a completely soft journey because, you know, sometimes the soft journey isn't going to help you. Sometimes you do have to kick it in the ass and just go with it. And, you know, um, so there's a lot to think about when you're doing this, this part of your path. I keep saying path and journey. I'm trying to say that less, but you know what I mean? It, it's, if you're going to make it m much more difficult than it needs to be, you, you probably won't stick with it. 
that's that's my ultimate meaning and uh you know you want something to be desirable for you if it is your journey you don't want to just quit smoking cigarettes and not have your stress relief because you know maybe though cigarettes are completely terrible for you you are completely aware of that i'm sure like it still helps you with your stress and your anxiety throughout the day it's it's already become a trigger for your for your brain i'm not quite sure what it triggers uh, exactly but it you know it goes back to the serotonin thing like you know you you can't just completely get rid of these things in your life and and sometimes you can pick a different poison i know that sounds scary but it is so true and underrated and I, I maybe not necessarily not respected but it, maybe it's not understood completely like my meaning um you know i watched this this tiktok yesterday i know i use tiktok <laughs> but you know some dude was talking about uh his weight loss and his weight loss journey and he was talking about all the foods that he ate before he started this journey and you know it was it was uh, Cool Ranch Doritos, and um, a pizza, a DiGiorno's pizza, and you know a couple of other other things. Um, and then he showed all of the snacks that he started eating after, and you know he still allowed himself to snack. He still gave him those vices, and that's the most important part to respect on his you know his little video is uh he showed the changes that he made uh he didn't get rid of pizza completely he had a cauliflower crust pizza instead you know it still has calories it's still pizza it's still delicious and uh though it may not be a DiGiorno's pizza it may not have that same flavor element it's still allowing him and his brain to interact with the same things that he enjoys Please allow yourself to enjoy your life. That is my per- That is the purpose of this video. The, the, the ultimate purpose of this video is to allow yourself to enjoy your life while purging and understanding your shadow. Because if you're not enjoying the journey, um, maybe that's your thing. Some people get thrills off of that sort of thing and just like going for it and just like getting rid of everything in your life. But you know, a normal person gets afraid of those types of things and uh, psychologically doesn't really have this the type of power to do that so you know just understand and respect that too uh so i guess the next thing i really want to talk about is hmm actually let me think about this because the purging thing i talked about the collective and the individual perspective but i want to get into hmm I guess society, I guess society, yes, society can have its own barriers and walls for you, um, you know, again, like I talk about, uh, maybe I'll just talk about my own journey and my own examples, like, personally, I, uh, am struggling for money, I'm trying to find different ways to make money online and, uh, perhaps even get a job while I'm trying to build myself up and build up my channel, and build up my artistic stuff and my Etsy store and all of those things. I have a lot of things going on. However, I do still have bills to pay. I have lots of medical debt because I became epileptic uh, over the past couple of years uh, randomly and um, without... Uh, well, I guess that's not really important. I, I don't really know the reasoning why I became epileptic, but... You know, my point is, is I've, I've hit these roadblocks, I've hit these bumps, I've hit these, you know, these barriers. Uh, my car isn't exactly in a great state. I mean, it, it, it's drivable. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of things going on with my car that's preventing me from like just going into the city and getting a job. Oh, by the way, I'm also like in the middle of nowhere. So you know, there's not a whole lot of jobs around me. And it's not completely safe for me to be driving, though. I, I do feel like uh, I've, I've done a lot of um, my own self-healing. Um, not trying to encourage you to uh, microdose or anything, but I did a lot of self-healing because I was uh, reading a lot of articles uh, about um, neurotransmitters being repaired through microdosing. Uh, so it was just something that I tried on my own and did completely by myself without a medical expert involved. So this is not medical advice. 
it was my own journey. It's just me trying to, you know, tell you what's going on in my life and, and give you a prime example of, you know, roadblocks and barriers and things that we have to work around because, you know, like I said, it's not an easy journey and it's something that we just have to adapt with and change and everything is online now. And so that's where I've, I've put most of my energy, most of my focus in healing and growth uh, and that alone has its own qualities and conditions that will abrupt and disturb your self-growth. And meaning I have, uh, you know, a problem. I check my Facebook frequently and I'm always updating and, you know, posting online. And, you know, sometimes it's just a distraction. You know, sometimes I'm not doing that consciously with effort um, to make, you know, impactful post that you know encourage people to do more things in their life and you know that that doesn't necessarily it doesn't help my business it doesn't help my growth it doesn't help my self-empowerment it's just me you know a bit addicted to facebook and not really doing anything impactful so you know it's got its own things like we have there's there's this i guess shadow aspect to really everything like you know and again, it's perspective based, like you could be, you know, drawing 24 seven, but not getting your artwork out there. And you're just kind of you're drawing, um, because it makes you happy. And you enjoy drawing or painting or whatever. But you're, you know, you're just doing it uh, on your own, which is fine. It, it doesn't if that's just your goal, because you just like to draw and stuff like that's totally cool. But, like, if you're wanting to um, be self-empowered, you're wanting to create a small business eventually, that's not going to help you. You have to get yourself out there. You have to, you have to move with the waves and you have to, you have to find yourself online because there are, you know, just because you're posting on your Facebook doesn't mean you're going to have the same outreach um, that you're trying to, to create for yourself. And I, I'm sorry that this went uh, specifically into social media. It's just my prime example and what I mean by, you know, working through your purge and, you know, working through these barriers and walls and, and, and whatnot. So it's just an example. But, you know, I, I've worked around, I've, I've created a very simple system that is not stable um, to um, earn more money online. Uh, though I am working on some other things, I, I have these distractions. Technology is a distraction itself. Like I have my Instagram, I have my Facebook and constantly getting updates and, and it, it triggers this thing when I f hear my phone vibrate and it distracts me from what I'm trying to do online. So, you know, it has its own things like you know no matter where you are what you're doing there's going to be some type of shadow aspect to what you're doing and it's going to abrupt and disturb your situation or not even situation but your process it's going to disturb it so you know being self-aware and self-accountable with those things is, is my biggest point if if you really want to focus in on your purging process your shadow work like, understand these things about yourself and the world around you and just, you know, respect it, uh, live with it, and work around it and work with it as well. Because there are so many platforms, so many opportunities, opportunities being the biggest part, biggest element to this video. Like, you may feel entangled, you may feel trapped some people, I'm not going to lie, are, uh, they are kind of stuck in these cycles because there's not everything that they can do, uh, as far as, you know, I, I don't really have an example for that, but, you know, there, there are people that you can't or don't have the same opportunities as you, so respect that too and understand that, and, you know, with the respect, you can you know, empower yourself and, and have this, this understanding that, you know, tells you like, Hey, don't do that. Do this instead, because you're trying to work on something important here. So focus in, don't let these distractions disturb you 
and make a system for yourself that will work with you and you know it goes to like uh you know another thing i know this is a very weird example but like you know i see people who want to still be drummers and like be missing an arm you know they work around it and i guess that's an extreme example maybe not extreme i guess it's you know perception based but you know what i mean it it's doable it's possible you don't have to feel completely entrapped and enclosed in your life just because there's these barriers and walls that are telling you that you can't and you won't be able to do something that is a lie that your shadow is trying to tell you and you know maybe it's somebody else that's trying to tell you that their shadow is telling you it you don't listen to it I know that's not necessarily always easy, but you know, just that's why you're watching this video. I'm, I'm here to tell you that you are much more powerful than what you believe most of the time. And you know, get that. Really dive deep into that and you know, know what your vices are, understand what your vices are, and work with, around, and through them. So, you know, uh, uh, another example that I have, um, I have not this. I don't. I wasn't ever diagnosed with ADHD or ADD, ADHD, right? Atten attention hyper deficit disorder. Yeah, I don't really. I, I've never been diagnosed, but I do have this thing where it's. I'll start a bunch of tasks, uh, which is still good. I'm. I'm still being active, but uh, then I'm. Uh, you know, pacing back and forth. I'll. You know, I'll do this thing sometimes. I'm, I've worked on it pretty well, though, uh, where I'll go into the kitchen and uh, to do something simple and small, like throw a little tiny piece of paper away just to subconsciously distract myself. It's just one of the weird things that I do. Uh, it, You know, I, I get distracted easily, is my point. And so I would go into the kitchen and then also completely forget what I was ultimately doing as far as work uh, related uh, task so I I but I acknowledged that and I understood it and so what I did to fight and combat that I would play music um, um trying to think of the word I, I keep wanting to say tarot for some reason I guess because I said at the beginning of the video um frequency music is that the right word that is not the right word um frequency music no what is this um i guess um affirmation music is also a really good one um hertz hertz music is that what it's called i don't think that's what it's called either um but there's there's uh frequencies and and sounds and tones or even just like a side chill um you know an easy simple no uh lyric involved type of like mellow beats there's like um study music that you can look up on YouTube and it helps you, it helps your subconscious, um, focus in on the music. So your subconscious isn't like rolling around all these other details of all of the other things that you're trying to do throughout the day. And so you're focused in on one thing at a time. That's just another example that I have. So, uh, I hope that this video does serve you purpose and gives you a better perspective on what purging means and your shadow self and allows you to dive a little deeper into what your journey is and what you want it to be and you know empowers you to uh you know don't feel burdened by all the work that you have to do you know respect it and go with it and let it be part of your purpose, you know, because we all need purpose here and, you know, that will take you on some crazy wild trips. You can become a millionaire, you can become an artist. Uh, some people are going to be like, oh, no, don't tell me that. You're wrong. You're just trying to lie to me. There wouldn't be millionaires if it wasn't possible. I have seen lyricists work in their garage and top people on billboards. Tom McDonald is who I'm talking about. But, you know, he worked from nothing. 
and I've seen other videos of millionaires coming up from absolutely nothing. It is not impossible. Nothing is completely impossible. I mean, some things are probably impossible. We're not talking about fairies here, although I do have this thing. Um, you know what? I'm not going to tell you about that. I, but, you know, my point is, is don't, don't, don't disregard yourself. Don't disregard your feelings and don't disregard your shadow aspect. Respect it. Understand it and empower it you know um feed your shadow in different ways like with different types of snacks and different types of vices um that you know or um there may be even studies on how to control or how to um redirect those tendencies into other things like I don't really have an example but you know what I mean like there's 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 definitely when there's a will there's a way I'm gonna be cheesy. When there is a will, there is a way. I'm just gonna leave it there for you. And I hope that you enjoyed this. Uh, let me know what you think about purging um, collectively with all the things that were going on and also individually and also your shadow aspects. Let me know what you feel about that. And uh, if you have any insight or input, uh, definitely leave in the comment section below. And please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Peace.